evening, ladies and gents. We're here at the world famous Annandale Hotel. We're here for Missing. We're here for Tattoo Wing TV. We're going to check it out. Let's roll. the Annandale Hotel for the Miss Inc. Heat of New South Wales. We're here with the beautiful Tangina. What brings you into the tattoo world? Ever since I was a young child, I've loved tattoos and my mum has tattoos. So, yeah, as soon as I was old enough, I was straight in to get tattoos. So we've got three heats tonight. Which one do you think you're going to score the best in? Probably swimwear. And why do you think that? Because um, I do a bit of modelling and I do a lot of swimwear. Three heats tonight. Which one's going to be your favourite? Which one do you think you're going to feel most at home with? Uh, casual. I'm pretty cash. <laughs> I like just, you know, walking around in chucks and jeans. Can't do that tonight, obviously, but, uh, but uh, I'm going to do my best to be comfortable in that one. Um, I think formal will be fun because you get to get glammed up a bit. Everyone likes to do that. Uh, what heat are you most looking forward to tonight? Casual wear. <laughs> or maybe the, um, the glamorous outfits because I don't get glammed up that often. So yeah, probably that one. So what actually makes you come into these type of events? Um, I like my tattooist and the work that he does, so I just want to show off people, really. Sure. So you're more entering for your tattoo work? Yeah, not for me. I'm not a show pony. What's going to be your favourite event for tonight? Um, I think evening wear, because I bought this dress specifically after I got my leg tattoo, and it shows it off really well, and some of my back. Excellent. So just glammed up and ink out. Yeah, that's the way. What every woman should be. What's going to be your favourite part of tonight in the uh, competition-wise? What's your favourite event? Um, probably the formal, I suppose. Be a bit more comfortable. Yeah. A little bit more glammy? Yes, a bit more pretty. And what's going to be your favourite event for tonight? I think formal wear, see what everyone's got. You want to get glammed up and rate yourself against them? Yeah. <laughs> and what brings you down here tonight? My best friend. She made me do this. So you're both competing? Yes, we are. And what's going to be your favourite event for tonight? The last party that we're going to make. Oh, that sounds amazing. Well, I hope, I hope we get an invite to it. I'm here with Webby. Webby, what brings you down for the competition tonight? A uh, little bit of fun. A little bit of fun. So, a little bit of fun, a little bit of enjoyment. What's going to be your favourite part of the night, like in the heat twice? Uh, the whole thing. I just like being on stage. society view you being a woman and being sleeved out? Um, well it really depends on um, who you want to listen to. Um, my opinion of myself comes from people that mean the most to me and fortunately they're actually really acceptable tattoos. Have you had any tattoos done here? Yes, um, Heath Knock just did this one which was two days old. He's a very good artist and if you want anyone in Sydney, Heath Knock's the man to be. What was your most recent tattoo? Um, it would be Hello Sailor tattooed across my um, hips. How long ago was that done? Uh, about a month. What was your most recent tattoo? That would be my friend that passed away, Ben. Um, I have his name and his date of birth and the date he died with music notes because he always used to sing, so the music notes comes in him. Nice. So it's, it's quite, not only do you just get tattooed for sometimes a little bit of fun, but there is a bit of sentimental behind it. Yes, there is. My tattoos have a lot of meaning.
Alright, everyone, give it up for the gorgeous Miss Holly. <laughs> Second place goes to the Jackal. First place winner tonight goes to Miss Alabama Princess. with Miss Ellie Ray, guest judge tonight and last year's People's Choice. Ellie, what were you looking for tonight? Uh, tonight I was looking for a stage presence, awesome tattoos and just, you know, something special to impress the judges. These girls did it all. What would a young lady of the calibre we've seen tonight impress you on stage presence? Um, definitely, definitely. When they came out on stage, they had to impress the judges. And the ones that won tonight really, really did. Um, they showed us exactly what New South Wales Miss Inc. Australia contestants are made of, and that's what New South Wales proud. We're here with Carly. Carly's picked up third place for tonight. How'd you feel about the whole ordeal? It was really, really good. There was a lot of competition. All the girls are beautiful. You've pulled off third place, which is quality in my book. Do you think you'll go into bigger and better things? Hopefully. This is only my second comp. My first comp, I got second. And now I got third, so I'm going pretty good. Here we are with second place winner, Jackal. Jackal, you had an absolutely amazing night. Great costume. How do you feel about the competitors? Um, they were really hot, and um, if they're single, call me. <laughs> you picked up second place. Do you think you'll go on to bigger and better things and maybe enter more uh, sort of tattoo competitions? Yeah, of course, but I want to kind of bring tattooed girls into mainstream hotness, so maybe Ralph or Zoo might be heading that way. Yeah. And why would you want to do that? Just because I believe beauty is in the, ink, in the story. Here we are with People's Choice Miss Alabama Princess. She's been an absolute stunner on stage tonight. There's been 14 contestants of just pure prime goodness. How does it feel taking out first place? I can't actually believe that I've done it because um, all the girls in my eyes were had a lot prettier than me. Um, but it's yeah, it's amazing. Do you think that we've just finished uh, the first heats of New South Wales? Do you reckon you'll compete in this state? Yes. We've been here for Tattoo Inc. TV. We've just interviewed the number one winner, Miss Alabama Princess. We're going to sign off. Let's get it rocking and rolling. I'd just like to dedicate my second place winning to the victims of the Christchurch earthquake. You can break our city, but you never break our spirits. Yeah. I can't do this.